Hi kids, I'm Vivek and welcome to my show MathWiz where you can learn math in a very easy way and it's fun too. In the last video, we have seen the easiest way of learning tables up to 9. In all the school programs I do, in all the workshops, I've come across thousands of kids who have unsuccessfully tried to learn tables up to 20. So, today we're all going to play T20. Yes, you have heard me right. T20, not cricket, but tables up to 20. Before we go to T20, let us see some small concepts of addition. Okay, so let me start with something called friends. So, one's friend is 9, two's friend is 8, three's friend is 7, four's friend is 6, and five's friend is 5. Now, can you all find out why the reason they are friends? Yes, because when I add 1 plus 9, or 2 plus 8, or 5 plus 5, I get my boss. So, I call 10 as the boss. We can use this boss for adding small numbers. Now we are going to see single digit addition that is adding a single digit to another single digit. I see many children using their fingers to count when they are adding single digit numbers. Let me give you two techniques where you will not be using any finger techniques to add two numbers. The first one is called the nines technique and the second one is called the eights technique. Now let us see what is nines technique. Nines technique says I want to add a single digit number to 9. So suppose I want 9 plus 8. We know the number before 8 is 7. Just write the number 7 and my answer comes as 9 plus 8 is 17. Whenever you are adding any single digit number to 9, you just have to know what is the previous number. 9 plus 6 is another example. So the number before 6 is 5. So my answer is 15. Now before we go to 8's technique, let us play a small game called odd or even. This game says when I call out an odd number, you are supposed to give a previous odd number. Or when I call out an even number, you are supposed to give a previous even number. So let us take a few examples. Imagine I say 6, you are supposed to say 4. And if I say 9, you are supposed to say 7 because the previous odd number before 9 is 7. So, here comes the 8's technique. So, 8's technique says, whatever number I add to 8, I'm going to write the previous odd or even number. So, the first example is 8 plus 7. So, since 7 is an odd number, I'm going to take the previous odd number as 5. So, 8 plus 7 becomes 15. And 8 plus 3. 3 is also an odd number. So, the before odd number of 3 is 1. So 8 plus 3 is 11. Let us take an even number now. 8 plus 6. 6 is an even number and the even number before 6 is 4. So 8 plus 6 is 14. This way whenever we are adding big numbers to 8 or 9 or any number to 8 or 9 you can directly get the answer just by checking for 9's technique the before number and playing a small game of odd or even for 8. There are only 4 examples that are left now that is 6 plus 5, 7 plus 4, 7 plus 5 and 7 plus 6. So 6 plus 4 are friends. 6 and 4 are friends so 6 plus 4 is 10. So 6 plus 5 would be 11. Similarly 7 plus 4 will also be 11. Now 7 plus 5 and 7 plus 6 is 12 and 13. Now the only thing that is left is when I get problems like 6 plus 6, 7 plus 7, you can use a small 2 table and get the answer. Suppose I have 6 plus 6, I can say 6 plus 6 is 6 times 2 and the answer is 12. We are going to break our tables up to 20 into two parts. The first part is going to be called higher tables 1 and the second part is going to be called higher tables 2. In higher tables 1, we are going to learn up to tables up to 20 times 10. And in higher tables 2, we are going to learn tables up to 20 times 20. Starting with higher tables 1. Here, you might come across problems like 16 times 7 or 18 times 9. And you are going to calculate the direct answer of which. So let me give you 5 random examples. Okay. So let us start with the first one, 18 times 7. So in 18 times 7, I am not going to use the first one. So my problem becomes 8 times 7. In the last video, we have learned how to calculate 8 times 7. 8 times 7 is 56. So I am going to write 56 in this way, 5 and 6. Now 
The second step is 7 plus 5, that is 12. So my answer is 126. So the value of 18 times 7 is 126. Let us take a few more examples to understand tables, higher tables 1 even more properly. So second example, 19 times 6 is, 9 times 6 is 54, 5, 4. And 6 plus 5 is 11. So my answer is 114. Let us take another example, 13 times 8. So 3 times 8 is 24, 2 and 4, 8 plus 2 is 10. So my answer is 104. You can all can practice randomly by using some play cards or uno cards and learn these tables up to 20 times 10. Now let us come to higher tables 2. In higher tables 2, you would get problems like 18 times 17, 19 times 16, 15 times 14. So let me start with the first one. 18 times 17. Like in higher tables 1, I'm not going to use the first one. But while multiplying, I'm going to use only 8 times 7. So the first step, 8 times 7 is 56. Now the second step is the same. It is an addition. 17 plus 5 is 22. There's an extra step to which, that is the third step. We are going to add this 22 plus 8 as 30 to get our answer as 306. So 18 times 17 would be 306. Let us take another example, 19 times 16. So I'm going not going to use the 1 and I'm going to multiply 9 times 6. 9 times 6 is 54, 5 and 4, 54. So 16 plus 5 is 21. Write the 21 about, 20, uh, about 9 and 21 plus 9 is 30. So my answer is 304. So you've seen how to learn tables up to 20 times 20. So kids, keep practicing until next time. We'll meet, we'll be learning a lot of techniques on multiplications. Bye.